Welcome guys to another video of some Call of Duty Ghostesses and today we'll be talking about the next Call of Duty and the DLC coming out for not just Ghosts but also Black Ops 2. What? Did I say that right? Yep, stay tuned. Please check it out. Alright, so let's start off with the next Call of Duty. Everyone's always wondering what the next Call of Duty is. So let's let's break it down for you to find out what the next Call of Duty is. And if you want more information, um, please go check out other videos like Allie and T Martin. They have videos up. Uh, this is where I'm getting a little bit of my information from uh, at least the information about the whole Sony thing. Other than that, this is my speculation. I'll tell you when I start speculating and I'll tell you when up to the point to where I got the information from. Alright, so this is the point where I got the information from. Sony got to preview the next Call of Duty. The pre They got to see what the next Call of Duty was going to be. And, you know, some big to question whether or not Xbox signed that contract again or not. I don't know. That hasn't been confirmed yet. But the next Call of Duty is codenamed Blacksmith. And the producers or the head honchos at Sony got to see the codename um, Blacksmith, which is the next Call of Duty, which means nothing to us. We don't know. That's not the name it's going to be at the end. But they got to see it. And they got to see a map of the Golden Gate Bridge. Whether that be the storyline or an actual multiplayer map, we do not know. Alright, so that's where I got the information from them ends. Now, this is all my speculation. So, what they did confirm also was that it was part of the Modern Warfare franchise. Alright, so all of that is speculation, all of that. We don't know if it's true or not, but there is concrete evidence to point out that it is very true. So, let's get down to it. It's part of the Modern Warfare franchise. Okay, so this is where my speculation begins. So, it could be Modern Warfare 4. Um, we'll talk about that right now. Okay, so Sledgehammer is producing the next COD game. So there now is are three companies making the next Call of Duty. So all of you people expecting zombies, sorry, you're going to have to wait till 2015. The next one in the series is Sledgehammer. So they are now producing in 2014. So there is now a three-year cycle within the Call of Duty franchise. And that is going to be Activision Sledgehammer and Treyarch so there's gonna be three different producers making the games alright like I said is it gonna be Modern Warfare 4? it's possible um, but I I don't know I, I, I doubt it due to the fact that it's so close to another title the Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare instead it would be named Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4. I, the 4s get switched in the place and I think that might be a little confusing to people but it might not be as confusing now due to the fact that I don't think they have Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare on the next gen consoles. And speaking of next gen consoles, this game is specifically made for the next gen consoles. Unlike Ghost which was made for the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360, this one's made for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. So that's going to be very interesting. And then it'll be reskinned for the Xbox 360 and PS3. So that is a little bit of incentive to get the next gen consoles right there if you haven't already. Okay, so like I said, I doubt it's going to be COD 4. Mod COD Modern Warfare 4 due to the fact that it's so easy to switch the 4 and a lot of people or the majority I'm going to say about 45% of Call of Duty players are underage and they do require their parents to buy the game and to be quite honest if my parents were going they'd say I want Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 or something of that sort probably get the name wrong and you know if they show up that there's a cheaper game of it and it's somewhat similar they would get it so um, I don't know if that's still gonna be a problem it might it might not we won't know so what I think it could be is a Modern Warfare 2 remake now what I mean a Modern Warfare 2 remake I think they could 
easily remake the Modern Warfare 2 franchise. It would be freaking awesome to have Modern Warfare 2 on the next gen console. It would be just so freaking epic. And the reason why would be because it'd just be awesome. Modern Warfare 2 is probably my favorite Call of Duty ever made. And if you guys haven't played it, I'm sorry, you guys missed out. Even put aside all of the issues of one man army, uh, noob tubes, quick scoping, take all that aside, it's still one of the greatest Call of Duties ever made. And speaking of that, what I would think they do is probably change up the story or even keep with the same story, um, just make it. But what I would like are new additional maps, and that means including the DLC that you got from Modern Warfare 2. Include all those maps with the previous maps and add a whole new about 12 to 16 maps on top of that. Now yes, that is a ton of maps. Now what you could do in order to come combat the amount of maps being previewed is just take out Spec Ops. Take out that Spec Ops that no one really enjoyed. Or what you could also do for the campaign is instead of making it Spec Ops, make it a dual campaign. Make it to where you could have two people play through the whole campaign and do that. Remove the Spec Ops aspect. Add the new maps, add all of that, so you just have just the campaign to where you could do it single player, or you and a buddy could do it and play through the game. That would be freaking awesome, in my opinion. That I would definitely buy a Modern Warfare 2 remake with that, with all new maps, and just either remake Spec Ops, do it something else, you know, Extinction's awesome, Zombie's awesome, you know, maybe do something like. Shoot, I have no idea. Um, Attack of the Brainless Dogs. I don't know. Do it something out there or vampires. Who knows? Werewolves. You're facing all these nocturnal creatures of the night. Do something weird like that that the others have done. Alright, so the, moving on in my next part of the video of DLC. Alright, so on Ghost, on March 4th, you will be getting all new character skins. Hazmat, Rourke, uh, Zakai, Zakaev and Makarov, which is a legend pack. And this brings me back to why I think it might be a Modern Warfare 2 remake. Get people hyped up about Modern Warfare 2, the main villain. And since it's a legend pack, that's why I think it's possible a Modern Warfare 2 remake. Because they want people to remember Modern Warfare 2. Possibly just speculating, I don't know yet. I might be wrong. Alright, so moving on. That's going to be the DLC for March 4th on Ghost. And then moving on to Black Ops 2 DLC. Wait, what? Did I just say that? that that's a very weird, very different. What? Yep, guys, that's correct. Uh, due to the fact that the old Call of Duty game, which is Black Ops 2, they are getting new DLC. I know a lot of people play... Um, the DLC, um, Black Ops 2, I've done my, uh, Fall of Call of Duty, which shows off that there's still roughly the same amount of people playing Black Ops 2 as Ghost, so, if you don't believe me, go check out those videos, they are, they are somewhere in my, um, vast array of stuff, of videos, so, the four new personalization packs, the little micro DLCs, like the skins, the reticles, on the ACOGs, the background cards, the player cards, all that, you know what they're like. You're getting four new ones. The first one is Beast, which is dealing with the most fearsome animals. Dead Man Hand, which is a Wild West theme. Octane, which is racing. And Weaponized 115, which is a Zombies. Alright guys, so tell me what you guys think about the new COD. What are you guys expecting? Do you want a remake of any COD? Do you want a new Call of Duty Modern Warfare? You know, tell me what you guys think about it. Tell me what you guys think about Sledgehammer coming into the mix of acting as a new producer for the Call of Duty franchise. And as always, guys, tell me what you think of the new DLC. And please, guys, please, please, please help my channel grow by sharing the by sharing it with all social media outlets 
all social media outlets like Twitter, like Facebook, like Tumblr, like Instagram, uh, Vine, do all of that things. Guys, please help grow my channel. And as always, peace! Till next time, guys. Stay cool, stay awesome. Hope you guys have a nice, had a nice weekend. I know quite a few of you will be watching The Walking Dead. I hope you guys enjoy that. And as always, guys, stay awesome, stay cool. And like I said, this is King. Peace. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, I thought I ended the um, dialogue. So this is a little side note before that. Um, also, uh, guys, tell me how you like the new uh, DLC for... Call of Duty Ghost. I totally blanked on that when I was doing my commentary. I forgot that um, the previous days I've been trying to get a lot of uh, gameplay for Call of Duty Ghost, the new DLC. Um, I'm still trying to get um, Michael Myers gameplay, but once I do, I will definitely put that up on my channel. I know you guys are interested in that. So tell me, guys, do you like the new DLC for Call of Duty Ghost? Uh, I'm talking about, obviously, Ignition... All of, uh, Fog, all of those um, maps that just got released. And guys, I was also wondering, would you like to see more Extinction out on my channel? Alright guys, so that's the end of it. Um, I guys, I hope you enjoyed again. Once again, as always, this is King. Peace. Laters. Bye.